everyone. I'm Dr. Angela Drummond Matthews. Welcome to week five of Composition One. Last week, you learned how to edit and revise your work. This week, we'll start on our first major paper in Unit Two, Informative Writing. When we read about paragraphs, you learned that there were different types. Well, the same is true of essays. We're going to learn to write different styles of essays. The first is informative. What is informative writing? If you've ever read a news article, you read an informative essay. It gives information to the reader without being biased. That means it doesn't take a side. We call that objectivity. Do you know the difference between objective and subjective? Let's imagine that I have to go to the doctor. I go to the doctor and I tell her my stomach hurts. Now, can the doctor tell my stomach hurts? No, only I can feel my stomach. That is subjective. So what will the doctor do? Well, she'll probably run some tests. She'll have my blood drawn. She'll take my blood pressure. She'll probably press on areas of my stomach to see if she notices anything out of order. She's looking for objective evidence of my subjective complaint, something that can be measured, seen, or observed by anyone. After examining me, she might say, well, there seems to be a knife sticking out of your stomach. That might be the cause of your pain. The knife is objective evidence. Anyone can see the knife. Now I might say, no, that's been there for weeks. I'm talking about something else. Even though the doctor can see the knife, she can't tell if it causes my pain or not. Only I can tell that. That's the difference between objective and subjective. Subjective experience is only felt by the individual. Objective evidence is something that everyone can see. When we write informatively, we're sharing objective evidence about a subject with the readers. We won't share our opinion. I know you've probably read or seen some news articles or shows that definitely show an opinion. Well, if no one has told you already, let me be the first to say that is not informative. That is not informative writing. That is persuasive writing. Persuasive writing seeks to convince a reader or viewer of something. Informative writing only delivers facts. The reader should be able to draw independent conclusions from those facts. That's not to say that you can't get information from persuasive writing. You can, but you have to be careful to separate fact from opinion. In an informative text, the reader should be able to trust that the writer is not delivering an opinion along with the facts. How do we do that? How can we show the reader that we're reliable? One way to establish credibility is to show readers that we've gathered good information by providing reliable sources for our information. Think about it. When someone tells you something, what is the first thing you ask to determine if the information is true? You ask, how do you know? Well, when you give your reader information, the reader will ask, how do you know? What's the answer? your in-text citations and works cited page. They tell the reader how you know your information. That shows the reader that you know what you're talking about. You should know a little bit about using sources already from the MLA tutorial, but this week we're going to learn more about sources by exploring the library. It would be cool if we could go in person, but the next best thing is looking at the resources the librarians have provided for us. In the week five folder, you'll find a series of links to resources. Read all of the resources the librarians have provided. Be sure to click through all the tabs in each link. Explore the supplemental information in Course Basics. When you're ready, take the library quiz. After taking the quiz, 
you should be ready to learn about different types of informative writing. Read and then take notes on the resources. Then take exit ticket eight. And don't forget to do your journal. I hope you enjoy the activities this week. As always, you can email me anytime you have a question. We'll have our optional class discussion on Friday. Check Blackboard for times. Work hard and stay safe. Bye-bye.